Hey there, welcome to Izzo's Place. So we just had the Thirsty Thursday short uh, be released. Maybe you saw it already and came over here afterwards. So that was the neck pour. Um, so now, you know, and I, in that I said a few weeks, poof, June 24th. So it's been more than a few weeks. So um, did a little bit of drinking of this one. So we've got some air in there doing its thing. Um, we'll see how, how it ages. So my initial notes, maybe I shouldn't read my initial notes. Let's see what I have this time. So I just washed this cup, so I'm gonna spit it. Really let the whiskey coat that. <clears throat> really let it coat the inside of the, of the cup. So it's a Knob Creek seven year rye. Um, I'll have to look at the retail. I'll figure out the retail before the video is over. Uh, but it's. As far as I know, it's easily available on the shelving. I always see the Knob Creek 7 Rye. Hopefully it's available in your locale, if that's something you're into. I was, uh, I was a couple people in line away from having a Knob Creek 18 today. It was, uh, it was real close. I don't know if you can hear that in the video. Probably not, because I'll put music over this, but uh, it's raining. It's raining in Ohio. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into this. All right, I, I hear a lot of people talking about uh, the nutty notes in um, Jim Beam products, and of course, Knob Creek, Booker's, Jim Beam, Russell's, it's all, it's all Jim Beam. Got on. Actually, I have a couple of shorts recorded. It won't be out for a while, but I got a couple of shorts recorded. I've been trying some of the Jim Beam cheap stuff because I had never done that. So, um, so those will review out later. But on the nose, I can kind of almost get like a peanut shell, peanut shell, peanut butter, like a like a natural peanut butter. The, doesn't have like a lot of processing done to it a lot of sugar not not a lot of sugar rather you know the kind of peanut butter you don't eat when you're a kid if you can help it give me that jiff give me that jiff so that's very interesting and a little bit of oak in there so we, we're seven years old so it should be grabbing some of the oak so i got i got like a, a natural peanut butter but even though i'm not tasting like like a sweet note with the nut note there is an underlying sweet note there, and it does kind of smell like vanilla. So that's kind of good and complex. I, I, I know that I'm enjoying this a little more than the neck pour, so that's fun. Yeah, fun for me. So on the palate, the nut is still there, but it's it's more muted. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So the vanilla comes through. There's more oak on the palate than in the nose. The the nuttiness factor goes way down, at least for me. It's got a bit of spice in it, probably because of the rye. There's not too much of a hug. Um, the spicy kind of stays up in the in the in the throat for me. Let's look at this bottle a little bit then. Let's see what my initial notes were. So my initial notes back in June. Nuts, oak, and rye palette was nuts and spices finished spicy so it was more spicy to me that day on the neck pour um so some of the sweeter notes are coming through now now that it's sat for a bit aged a little bit and not really aged you know it, it, the air gets in there it oxidizes it makes subtle changes to the to the whiskey i just did an experiment where i left a small glass of of whiskey out for um yeah, it's bourbon it was a small glass of bourbon out for three days and uh, to see if that kind of would would uh, allow it to oxidize quicker, and it 
was not great, let me tell you. So I don't know if that was an evaporation thing. I don't know if it, if like leaving it exposed to normal air, unlike leaving, unlike having it like exposed to the air in the bottle, like having it exposed to open air, maybe changed it further. So that one, I'm, I'm gonna wait on that review though, cause I'm gonna give it another week at least and then try the bottle again for a long review. Um, but this is very good. Let me read you a little bit about the bottle then. So Knob Creek 7s, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. So rye whiskey, um, so it's not bourbon. Like, so bourbon has to be 51% um, corn, has to be made in, in America. Um, bourbons can have rye in it, uh, but evidently whatever mash bill this is, uh, it doesn't have enough corn for them to be able to call it bourbon. So the original Knob Creek Small Batch Kentucky Straight Rye, Rye Whiskey, Rye Whiskey, sometimes it's hard to say, aged seven years, crafted for quality and full flavor, Claremont, Kentucky. Um, this is 100 proof. I don't think it's bottled in bond, but it's 100 proof. So Knob Creek Small Batch. Uh, they've been doing Knob Creek since 92, apparently. So it's from Claremont, Kentucky. Uh, it's got a nice wax uh, top, like you didn't get to see me pull the tops off, but um, it's got a nice wet, nice wax top. Okay, it doesn't really have anything else on the bottle, um, so I don't, I didn't, don't have time yet. But very soon with these longer reviews, uh, I'm going to add like a little history element to you, to it, and tell you a little more about whatever distillery or whatever brand it is, um, so we can get a little more enjoyment out of our whiskey. So we're coming back in here. This is the third or fourth sniff now. And the other, the other part that's not helping is I am half congested. Yay fall! I love fall, but you know, you know the weather change and I'm doing tile work in the rain for a couple of days doesn't doesn't eh, doesn't lend to one's breathing apparatus, does it? <clears throat> Yeah, so a um, little, little nutty, little vanilla, little oak. It's pretty enjoyable. It's pretty enjoyable. I'm glad I picked this up. I'm and this 12 is very good. Um, that review is coming later. Yeah, I'm not getting any Kentucky hug. So... 100 proof, so you know, 100 proof, that's a good proof point. Um, all of like the spicy alcohol kind of feeling is up in the back of my, back of my mouth, top of my throat, but it does not go down. Of course I just did like two Thirsty Thursday neck pours and tried that, tried to do that bullet. Uh, so, or it may be used to, to the alcohol at this point. Don't worry, uh, let, let's do the disclaimer. Please drink responsibly. Uh, tonight I will not be doing any power tools and I'm not driving home for a few hours. So having a few sips of whiskey is not gonna hurt anything. Uh, mostly cleaning and organizing tonight. So I'm really, cause, cause we're getting close. We're at 248 subs. And I had my little pretend contest um, to try to get my bar done before I hit 250. So I'm only two subs away. Chief Leaf, don't, don't do it, don't do it. And um, so tonight I'm, planning on cleaning this all out so that way tomorrow night I can hopefully finish installing the back bar uh, I don't think I should it should go pretty well I think I think if I get everything cleaned out tonight before I leave I think that I'll easily be able to get um, the shelving installed tomorrow and uh, finish up Saturday afternoon so we'll see hopefully uh, hopefully the thirsty Thursday doesn't bring in two more subs otherwise you win but you're gonna win anyway, because we'll have a little, we'll have a live stream after 2.50 and uh, we'll give away some more merch. So the Knob Creep 7 is pretty good. Um, it's not as sweet as some, so it's a little more, a little more savory, a little more spicy. There is a little bit of sweetness in this, but it's not crazy. Um, so if you see it, and if you've been enjoying things that that my palate says, or if my palate seems to be agreeing with you, uh, then I'd say go ahead and try and get it. Oh, you know what? I said I was gonna, 
said I was going to <clears throat> find out the MSRP. But right now my phone is playing a YouTube channel. Eh, you know what? Who cares? Uh, let's see. So, Knob Creek 7. MSRP. So Knob Creek 7-year-old Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey is rolling out with a nationwide now with an SRP of $37. Um, I don't remember. It's been too long since I bought it. I'd have to go look through receipts and stuff. and Yeah, and I probably don't know where those receipts are anyway. Uh, but yeah, so $37. So especially at that price point, that's good. Um, you And if you don't have Knob Creek 7 in your... Uh, at your local store, and that's the Rye 7. Um, if you don't have the Knob Creek Rye 7, I know that there's a regular Knob Creek Rye um, that's probably even easier to get. It's probably cheaper. So thank you so much for hanging out at Izzo's Place. Um, and like I said, please drink responsibly. Drink legally. Um, don't use power tools. I'm not going to use any power tools tonight. Don't go driving if you're if you're under the influence. I'm not going to drive for a few hours. And whatever you're doing, have fun. Um, whether you're doing woodworking, whether you're drinking whiskey, or if you're having a whimsical time, just be safe and have fun while you do it. All right. Thanks for hanging out at Izzo's place. And I'll talk to you guys later.